Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. In this episode, we are going to learn about the elegant relationship one to many. In the last episode, we have learned one to one relationship, but in this case, it's slightly different. So, let's get into the work. Uh, for that, I will open my command prompt. I think you know all these things. So, let's just quickly do all these things server is started copy that's good so what we are going to learn in this episode is one to many and what is one to many that means one thing related to many things obviously simple as that okay for this let's assume there is a user okay and that user may have many mobiles or you can say mobile number and in today's world it's very common to have more than one number okay so in this case one user may have many mobile numbers okay so how will we get all these mobile number for single user last episode a single user only have a single passport number but mobile number may be different and related to only one user okay so let's create these tables that means we need a user table and we need a mobile table before going ahead if you know how to create table just click on the links on the side to go to directly where i have started one to many for those of you who want to know how to make a table let's go ahead i will open my cmd i will type php artisan make migration and migration name is create users table and for creating table table name is users and you can see here i use plural form users okay when i hit enter it will create migration for that table and similarly for mobiles table that means mobile mobiles we can see here database migration there's two migrations are created so in the username i want the name field and that name field will be a string okay in the mobile table i want number to be integer integer and another thing is user id user id to which this mobile number is belong so i have created the schema for the table that means a php version of coding which tells laravel how to create the table so for creating the table i will type php artisan migrate and hit enter and you can see the tables are created likewise i can make model for these tables and model for users table is only user not users and similarly for mobile mobile not mobiles we have successfully created the table let's see does our table is created yes our table is created okay now we will just dump some data into that table for that i have to go to my artisan tinker and hey tinker come back yes tinker is back so just type here db table table name table name is users and in that i will just insert name name as my name sarthak okay and next is created at created at new time stamp new date time okay similarly updated at updated at where again date time close close and hit enter and i will get an error why because i have not properly written everything and it's true so now just create another user just replacing the name we have created the users okay now for the mobiles table mobiles okay number mobile that means mobile number will be let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 in the repeat itself okay then user id this is the important thing user id let's say the user id is 1 okay and there is a error why there is a error 
unknown column mobile so what the column name i have given i have given number that's why it's giving the error number that means mobile number okay so it is true and just create another mobile number for this user I told you one person may have one or more mobile number so let's create another it's fun yes okay that's true how will i show all these data i have just typed so i will type app users and all and we will get the result similarly just check for mobile and it is created now the one to many parts starts here just go to your model and here you can just create a function name mobile that means you want to create relationship with mobile model okay you will create here return this has many and then mobile class so we have created the relationship just check this relationship for that i will just show user with id 1 okay but i want the mobile number related to this user again the tinker does not know the changes so get out of this tinker and just again go to back and hey tinker get me all mobile numbers related to user id 1 get all these things and you have see here you can see here user id 1 user id 1 and user id 1 so when i type i want to get mobile number from user id 2 then it will return null because there is no data inside that we have just seen here we get the relationship okay and we are getting many many results so let's just do one thing here i will just say has one let's see the result so go out of the tinker go again and just type here this and you can see here only one result is fetched from the table why because i have used has one and now replace it with has many get out of that tinker go back and find you can see has many results okay and the inverse of this in the mobile model you just create user and here you will return return this and obviously as belongs to user class so for that i will just do here i will just say mobile with id 1 and it will give this but i want to get the user related to this mobile number so i will type user and i will get null again because i have not go out of the tinker and go back so just type and you will get the result so you can see here how much easy it is that just see all these things inside our controller and views so go back to home here we have to type use app user so after that we can fetch data so we can fetch number that means mobile is equal to user find find user one and give mobile that means mobile number and i will pass this with compact function and i will type mobile let's type mobiles because there are many mobile number so i have just pass this data to my view welcome so just go to welcome.blade.php and here i will do what i will do i will just create for each loop because i have many of the elements so let's just type here mobiles we can say mobile here i will type h4 and like this and inside that i will just echo mobile and number and close this then go back here refresh the page and yes you can see all these three are here so how much easy is that 
we have successfully learned the one to many relationship if you have any doubt just please comment me and do subscribe i think you have subscribed already if not just subscribe there is a link below if you have any problem just feel free to know me and i will surely make a video for you if you have any problem in learning can any concept so please subscribe and we will meet in the next episode so thank you